Newdorf. Supposed to do an introduc introduction of sorts, or just uh, step right into it? Whatever you feel good with. All right, let's just talk after that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I have a confession. My secrets I must now betray. I was not a born fool. No, it took work. To get this way When I was a lad I was gloomy and sad And I was from the day I was born While other lads giggled and gurgled and wiggled I loudly was proudly forlorn My friends and my family looked at me clamorly Thought there was something amiss While others from various antics Hilarious all they could manage was this All oh, this All oh, this <laughs> My father, he shouted, he needs to be clouded, his teeth on a wreath, I'll hand him. My mother, she cried as she rushed to my side, you're a brute and you don't understand him. So they sent for a witch with a terrible twitch to ask if my future impressor. She took one look at me and cried, hey, 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 he? What else could he be but a jester? A jester? A jester? A funny idea for a jester. No butcher, no baker, no candlestick maker, and me with a look of a fine undertaker impressed her. As a jester? Now, where could I learn any comical turn? It was not in a book on the shelf. No teacher to take me and hold me and make me a merry man fool or a now. But I'm proud to be called this in no talent, all with no other recourse, with mine own resources, with firm application and determination. Now I made a fool of myself. I once found a bow and I learned to shoot. I once found a horn and I learned to toot. Now I can shoot and toot, ain't that cute? <laughs> Started to travel to try and unravel my mind and to find a new chance. When I came to Spain, it was suddenly pain that the field that appealed was dance. The Spanish were clannish, but I wouldn't vanish. I learned every step they had planned. The first step of all isn't hard to recall, because the first step of all is to stand and stand and stand and stand and stand and stand. And stand. They sometimes stand this way for days. <clears throat> then they get very mad at the floor and they start to stomp on it, yes? <clears throat> <laughs> After all of my practice, the terrible fact is, I made a fool of myself! I sadly decided that dancing as I did to sing was a thing that was surer. I found me a teacher, a crotchety creature, who used to sing coloratura. She twisted my tent for I have a minute with a poker, she vocalized me. When she said it was best that I threw it to my chest. You may gather that rather surprised me. I was on solid ground till I suddenly found this in Venice I was to appear. The gallery locale was a choppy canal and to be on a high sea gondolier. I nervously cursed at the gondola alert before the king's palazzo as I started my song. My voice, it was strong. My legs, I fear, were not so. <laughs> oh, so. As I fell overboard, how his majesty roared, and before his CST he made me his jester. I found out soon that to be a buffoon is a serious thing as a rule. Cause a jester's chief employment is to kill himself for your enjoyment. And a jester unemployed is nobody's fool. Today, you, you even, you, it, it was magical, even. So you're even competing with the magician, as far as I'm concerned. No, it was so unique. Your voice is is very strong. It's very unique. I thought I was in at Broadway, at a Broadway show. I really did. It was absolutely excellent. Your command of the material was absolutely superb. You're a dancer. You you sing. You you're funny. Oh my God, you brought it all together, man. Thank you. The first word I wrote down was Broadway, uh, same as Jeff. Uh, I wonder, why did you pick this? 
And where are you going with your artistic aspirations? Well, it's a very old song from a movie called The Court Jester. If uh, any of you know Danny Kaye, um, he's one of the, the greatest comedy singers and dancers that I know. And it's a, it's a niche market that I think is, it's fun to explore and get to do these rare songs that are kind of lost in the old movies that nobody ever gets to watch. And it's fun to be able to, to show them off again. Felt that when you really delved into the aspects of the physical comedy uh, intertwined with your performance, those were the highlights for me. I would say I, I thought it was excellent, but if you were to come back again, I would say use the stage even more, tell the story fully from start to finish, uh, as if you were in a one-man Broadway play. And even if you don't have props, it kind of gives you more freedom to paint the story with your moves. And I thought you did it perfectly when you did it. I would have just liked to see it more often. And just on that note, Broadway by the Sea tickets are for sale. There's my shameless plug. August 25th, 26th, one of the shows is sold out. One's 90% sold out, so the Friday night show still has some availability. Over to you, Emily. Okay, so what school do you go to? I'm homeschooled. Woo! Yeah! Would you like to start attending St. Stephen High School anytime in the near future? I don't plan on it. <laughs> I don't plan on it. I would plan an entire show around you. Thank you. Yeah. When I, I started writing, because, you know, I said stage presence, and then a couple of things that have happened, you know, in our previous comments, and it all happened again. I felt a range of emotions. I couldn't stop smiling. And you, this kind of a song is not easy because it's so quick and your enunciation and your storytelling and your charisma, I mean, you are a true triple threat. So keep going. Absolutely not. Thank you so much, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for Oliver. Thank you. Big round of applause for Daniel, too. Look at him hustling.